Hi there, Simon from Manchester Wine School here. At times like this, I want to go into my wine cellar, which is just there, and um, find more half bottles. Um, it's a lovely size for uh, for midweek, and um, when there's if there's just two of you, you can have a glass each, and it's a little bit left over, and um, uh, you don't feel like you've uh, done something too indulgent. Although we do feel like doing things indulgent in these weird times that we're in. But no, I haven't got enough. I, I, I'd rather have a, I'd really like to have a sell a few, not full, but certainly a few more of them in there. And uh, if you're in that boat and you think, I'd really like to have a few more half bottles, there's a company called the Little Fine Wine Company. Uh, go and have a look at their website because they've got, uh, I think they've got nearly 100 different wines in half bottles and uh, they can deliver to all over the country and uh, they've got some rather nice stuff as well. Um, but this one I've got here is 2012 Chateau Cissac uh, from Bordeaux au Medoc. Um, and if you don't know Chateau Cissac, well if you do know Chateau Cissac, um, it's one of those wines that uh, when it's uh, young, I put T-A-B uh, in my notes, tough as uh, it, it can be a little bit forbidding. I think, actually, I think recent vintages have been a little bit more kind and forgiving. But this one here, it came out of my cool cellar um, and I smelt it and it smelled green. And I was almost wondering whether it was um, ever so slightly corked. But as it has opened up in the glass, you're getting more of those, the, the greenness that has gone to, it's gone through that green pepper stage and, and it's coming more into this leafy Cabernet edge. And um, I, I could probably have done with opening it like an hour or so earlier, but uh, uh, it's now starting to smell. Um, yeah, it's putting on, it's, it's putting on layers of richness and uh, opulence, which you, you couldn't see when it was first opened. Taste wise, a mixture of this cedary greenness. Uh, and I think part of that tannin is coming from, uh, um, yeah, a little bit of um, slightly overpressing of the grape skins. Probably a little bit of oak there, but then this juicy, plump, plumptious uh, Cabernet fruit. And uh, there's a tension between the two at the moment. Uh, when I first opened it, it was those greener, uh, firmer edges that were uh, that were poking out. But as the as the wine's opening up, uh, these richer, plumper edges are coming past. And I wouldn't be surprised in half an hour uh, to see that the, the, the plumper edges are sort of going, well, I was here all the time, but you just uh, ignored me. Uh, so I'm going to maybe leave this little bit in my glass for uh, a while longer, come back to it, and um, I think it'll be rather tasty. Not the greatest of wines, but good, good midweek claret. Rah! Go and buy some. Or if you can't find this one, uh, go to the Little Fine Wine Company, and Vicky there will do you proud. See you soon.